My name is Meg and I'm one of the four artists leading this grant proposal. I'll begin by answering the first question regarding what are the activities we hope to plan and what do we hope will take place. We are planning two distinct experiences. The first involves a storytelling experience and the second involves an in-person arts festival. The first experience, the storytelling experience, will include digital videos that we will post on each of our individual social media feeds that will be video interviews with each artist in this project. Each artist will be asked the same five questions. Those five questions include what motivates you to do what you do, what do you do, how are you making a difference? What or who inspires you? And what music have you been finding is speaking to you during this time? We're planning to use this storytelling aspect of our plans to share our experiences, generate um, a sense and a show of solidarity among community members throughout Minneapolis in order to positively benefit the health and the well-being of all community members across the city, across the metro, in the Cedar Riverside neighborhood, and in the Marcy Holmes neighborhood. The second part, the Arts Festival, will be an in-person physical showing of our solidarity, a sharing of our art, a celebration of culture, community, language, play, laughter, and being together and sharing an experience outdoors and telling our stories um, to build trust and unity again across our communities. Our target audience is Cedar Riverside community members, Marcy Home community members, and community members from across Minneapolis, St. Paul, and the metro area. All people are invited all people are encouraged to attend and we hope all people show up. We plan to use our promotional online videos and interviews with each artist as a way to promote our event and um, build awareness around what we're doing. We also plan to use physical posters that we will post in the Cedar Riverside and Marcy Holmes neighborhood and businesses um, as well as just through word of mouth and through community spread of information online um, and among our friends. In response to the final question, when do we hope all of this will take place? October. We believe we need action now. We feel we are motivated and ready to show up for who we are, to show up for one another, and to begin to connect and build and show solidarity with our fellow community members as a way to generate healing, safety, and care for one another at this time. I look forward to hearing from you and I appreciate your consideration and time. Thank you so much.